Today, Honiara came to full life just days after the government removed most of the COVID restrictions. Along the streets of Honiara, the symbolic color of green, yellow and blue is seen everywhere as people come out to celebrate and reflect on what this day means to them as Solomon Islanders. Uh, for me, also meaning freedom for nation, blame Solomon Island as a democracy country. Independence is uh, you actually out from Ogata colonies, you for you Uranium government, you itself. I want for a big event. Also, me me not experiencing before when take every people come, and me looking one for a big something. Also, unity. Yes, I love me day today. I mean, I mean a lot of me because as the Solomon Island, I'm happy today. I uh, am Independence Day of the country, so I'm happy to us. I'm happy to come celebrating here. The Independence Day, hello, hello, near it. I'm very enjoyable to us, and then I want to do well, so I'm nice for looking that the Mia Solomon Islanders, you may come together for enjoy us, one people. Honiara has grown significantly since 1978 when it gained political independence from Great Britain. God save our Solomon Islands from shore to shore. Bless all our people and all our lands with His. In his reflection, Prime Minister Manasse Songavare said Solomon Islands continued to face a lot of challenges since gaining political independence 44 years ago. As a matter of fact, the country is still struggling to put together a policy mix in our quest to find lasting solution on the causes of these occurrences. That is why, right from the very beginning, our prayers has constantly been requesting direct intervention of God in the heart of our people at all levels of leadership. <laughs> I am, uh, like many other Solomon Islanders, very proud of the, of the country, the beautiful colors of our flag. And um, I think more importantly for me, it's just so nice to see a lot more young people. The young people um, embracing the occasion and um, they probably give a lot more importance and value to the occasion. And so someone who's grown up during the colonial time um, and gone through independence, I'm so pleased to see the young people take ownership of the of, of the day because I'm sure you know many of them Okata probably know born Tamimi independence eh? so they probably don't really realize but I think they 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 embrace the the importance of the nation and this nation the future of this nation belongs to them and so I'm just so happy to see our young people like yourself yeah? uh, playing a key role in, in the country. With an estimated population of 80,000 in Honiara, celebrations were held in various locations in the city. From a trade fair at the town ground area west of Honiara, to a string band entertainment at the museum area, and this is just but a few of the celebrations that's happening in Honiara on Independence Day. One thing me like for looking me set on Asian me as a uh, leadership role eh, in certain nation blue me like me like, but improve no leadership role blue me in certain nation uh, i'm looking for a people who have got a caring heart for a, a, a nation people who have got a heart for a people blue me in certain nation for you may come together as one let him know looking different blue me eh, and you may build him a better a nation as solomon island uh, i think me like him for awesome everyone must continue for work push hard ma low side low building about women especially for side low uh, make a motor business and looks have a low uh, need block it up leadership no man if it leading we call it what a leadership leading but i think by image still go on uh, stage where i mean by still developing the independence day activities started earlier in the day with a float parade by the police band cultural groups and selected students and groups the float parade commenced from west honiara to East Honiara, ending with a Thanksgiving service at the Maranatha Hall. Communities around the city also organized their own independence activities. The theme for this year's Independence Day was Yumi Together for a Stronger and Peaceful Solomon Islands.
For Tavoli News, I am Gina Kekea.